Alrighty, project lead the way. Let's get ready to build the candy dispense machine in Autodesk Inventor. The first thing that we need to do is navigate to the upper left corner. We're going to create a new file. Make sure you have English template selected, and we're going to go down to the assembly section. So the second option, make sure you're selecting a standard inventor part. Click create. <clears throat> when this opens up, it looks a lot like a regular part file, except the ribbon has some different tools in it. To begin, you're going to select place in the upper left corner. You're going to hopefully have all of the files saved in your H drive already that I've drawn for you. Um, so you click down, find your H drive, navigate to the candy dispenser, and then start adding parts. First part we need is a bottom. So I'm going to double click on the bottom, and I'm going to place one of those on the screen. Again, you can place a variety of these on the screen, but um, in this case we only want one. Um, so let's just put one in the middle. After the bottom, go back up to place, and we are going to add the spacer. So again, navigate down to find the spacer, and we need um, two spacers. Place two on there, escape out. I'm actually going to put mine off to the side for now. And then also go back to place, and we are going to find two sides. So again, find the side piece. We want two sides, a left and a right. Once that's complete, um, we'll start putting some of these pieces together. To begin, um, I'm going to select the Constraint tool. So up in the ribbon, I'm going to select Constraint. The Constraint dialog pops out. We've got a variety of different types of constraints. The one we want is going to be called Mate, which is kind of like gluing two pieces together. To begin, um, under Solution, make sure you have the Mate selection picked. Um, and I'm going to click on the base. So this big flat surface here, I'll click on that once. I'm going to use my Free Orbit tool over here. And I'm going to rotate around nice and slow, and I'm going to select the bottom of the side. Click Apply, and now those two pieces are stuck together on that axis. The next step, I'm going to select the Flush tool up here in your Constraint dialog box. I'm going to flush the end of my side and the end of my base so they should become even. Click Apply, and then I'm going to select Flush. And the side, so I'm going to flush this side and flush this side. But before I click apply, I need to type in my offset window up here, uh, 0.5. And it should offset it a half of an inch in. Select apply. And now I have one side completely offset and secured. So now that these two pieces are tied together, so they move um, dependently on one another. I need to go through that same process with this other side. So to begin, I'm going to select constraint. Make sure I have mate selected for both my solution and my type. I'm going to click the bottom. After you select the base again, rotate around using your free orbit tool. Select the bottom of the side. Click apply. I'm going to orbit back. I'm going to select my flush tool. Up in my solution up here. Select the side, end of the side and the end of the base. Click apply. I am going to orbit around again, and I'm going to select Flush Tool, side of the side, and the side of the base, the big flat surface. And now, please don't forget to, before you click Apply, um, make your offset a 0.5, then <clears throat> click Apply. And now, <clears throat> I'll cancel out, and these pieces are all tied together so they don't move. Next part now is a little bit trickier. I gotta put my spacers in there. Now, when we put the spacers in, you gotta kinda look at the spacers and determine which is the longer dimension. So I think right now the way I have them in here, it's longer this way than it is this way. That's important. So I'm gonna go to constrain. I'm gonna select the top of my spacer, so the long end, and I'm gonna constrain it to the inside of the side. Select apply, and again, that was a mate. Um, now I'm gonna rotate it around. This is a little bit difficult to see. I'm going to mate the bottom of this spacer and the top of the base. So I'm going to select this area down here. And then turned it. Click Apply. And now if you notice, it can slide up and down or in and out. Right now it's sliding in and out. So if I looked at the top view, click top, um, it can slide this way still. So to keep it from doing that, um, I need to flush the end. So again, I'm going to click Constrain. Uh, type is mate. I'm going to select the flush solution. 
select the spacer and then the side, click apply, and now this piece is locked in, moves all as one. I will rotate around, I need to go through the same process um, with this spacer here. So to begin that process, go back to constraint, select the top edge or the top side, don't select the corner, select the flat surface, inside of the side, click apply, and I'm going to rotate around so I can see this a little bit easier here. There we go. I'll go back to the mate tool. I'm going to glue the bottom of the spacer and the top of the base. Click apply. And then I'm going to flush the spacer and the outside of the side. Click apply. <clears throat> and now um, this is all moving as one. The next step then, um, make sure you save intermittently, is to go back to place. And we are going to find the inside guide piece. So I'm going to double click inside guide. I'm going to place two of those um, in my drawing. And I'm going to go ahead and put those in. So again, this is another constraint. I'm going to glue um, the skinny edge to the top of my spacer. Click apply. I'm going to glue the inside of the spacer, so this flat portion. Inside there, I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to glue that, or made it, to the inside of the side. Click Apply. And then I need to flush the end of my guide and the end of my side. Click Apply. And now, again, that's tied down. And I need to go through that process with this piece, too. So, again, Constrain. Mate this surface to this flat surface. Click Apply. Mate this flat surface. Rotate around using free orbit to the inside of the side. Click apply. And then flush tool, the end and the end. Click apply. And now those pieces are all tied together. I'll orbit around so we can see it. Whoops. Come back. There it is. So again, everything's locked in. Now we're almost done with the base. The next step that we have to do. Um, I'm going to go to place, and I'm going to put my top on the base. So again, I'll place one top, select OK. And for this, I'm going to glue this. So I'm going to mate. Again, type is mate, solution is mate. Um, glue the top. I'm going to rotate down underneath to here. Click apply. I'm going to flush the outside and outside. Select apply. And then I'm going to flush this side with this side, except I need, again, a half inch offset. So before you apply this one, make sure we have an offset of 0.5. Click Apply. And if I go home, um, now you notice my base is all intact, and it's ready to have my other components on. Make sure you go up to Save and save this appropriately.